Hi, I'm Adam John Williams. I'm a musician, artist, a hacker, inventor, all sorts of stuff really, and I also run hackathons for a living. Um, I'm also a member of the London Music Hack Space, which is a collective of people who are into the electronics and kind of software sides of music technology who meet regularly and have performances and talks and open evenings at their space in London. I get a lot of my inspiration from, I mean, all kinds of different places, looking at art and music and electronics, but also I've got more into projection mapping and visual arts and video kind of stuff. A few years ago, I had a, a period of illness that left me, for one thing, much less physically able than I used to be, and I went gradually from walking around normally to then using a stick and crutches and eventually a wheelchair. And one of the things was that it left me much less able to work um, in music in the way that I was previously because of things like my studio equipment wasn't accessible. I think the thing that first inspired me to start combining kind of separate interests I had for electronics and music especially um, was uh, going, going to hackathons at, um, at events like Music Tech Fest, the company I now work for running their hackathon. The term hacker often still has a bit of a negative connotation for people who don't really understand what it is, but now it gets applied to all kinds of stuff. It, it used to just mean, you know, someone's going to hack into my email or into my bank account. But now it's been kind of reappropriated to adding functionality to something or using anything in the way it was never originally intended. So Farnell Element 14 has supported me by providing equipment to use in projects that I'm now making for my new YouTube show. So I'll be using the kind of things that they sell to create projects that people can follow along with at home. What led me to the Element 14 community was the Ben Heck Show, and that was where I found other people doing the same kind of stuff as me, producing projects and kind of documenting. The internet has been such a huge influence on hacker-maker culture in that it used to be that maybe in some cities you wouldn't be able to find two people that had this same kind of hobbyist interest in electronics. So the communities around it largely formed only on the internet, maybe in the early days on IRC chat rooms and stuff and now there are these huge forums and you can find anyone with some kind of particular same interest as you but it's helped the community grow enough that now it's spilled off the internet into real life. I think design and engineering is something really is really great to go into and certainly we need people, we need creative and passionate people to take this up and get more involved and there are only ever going to be more jobs in tech in the future because of the changes that are happening.